Hello everyone. Let's start uh, another problem, but this problem is related to a special case uh, of force vectors, which is dot product. Okay, or it is sometimes also called as the scalar product. All right. In this problem, if you look at it, uh, we have uh, a clamp. This is a clamp over here, and okay, there is a force which is 500 k, which means directed along the z axis, but the direction minus tell it's along the minus z axis. This red force, and uh, basically. Uh, these are the coordinates a, a, a and basically this is the origin this is point a and this is the origin okay so if you look at it uh, we say the clamp is used on a jig full stop if the vertical force acting on the bolt okay there is a bolt this is the bolt uh, is this minus 500k newton find the magnitude of its components that acts parallel and perpendicular to the oa axis okay so this is the vertical force and you need to find the component which is parallel to the OA axis okay this axis and the other component must be parallel to this OA which is the perpendicular component to this OA uh, component okay. So one component of this force will be parallel to the OA axis and then also calculate the perpendicular component also okay and this being the resultant this is the resultant it will have this component parallel to OA axis and the other perpendicular to this OA axis okay so the parallel component of a 500 newton force along A axis can be calculated using the dot product case okay so so what we use the formula is F parallel equals to F dot U OA okay so this is the formula okay so we need to calculate uh, the fo uh, the force f as a vector and also calculate the unit vector oa and then basically we have to calculate uh, take their dot product okay so the one uh, scenario of calculating the parallel component along oa axis is this another formula if you want is f cos theta but for this uh, you need to calculate this theta which i will show you also okay so theta is the angle between the tail of f and unit vector o a this is the angle okay if you look at it uh, this is going to be the theta this angle is going to be the theta this angle is going to be our theta between this okay so if you go uh, the coordinates of the origin are 0 0 and the coordinates uh, a point is 20 40 and 40 okay so if you look uh, for the a point the coordinates will be this is our origin okay so he says that if we move on the origin uh, 20 millimeters over here and on the y-axis uh, we will be uh, moving uh, again 40 millimeters and on the z-axis we will also be moving 40 millimeters so we will reaching a point so if you look at it now this is our origin this is our point a now we can take uh, as uh, the position vector along AO okay what we are doing we are taking the position vector along AO okay so if we take the position vector along AO it will be uh, minus 20i minus 40j minus 40k you remember the origin is basically uh, 0 0 0 so it means we need to minus the uh, coordinates of the origin from the coordinates of uh, a so it will be minus 20 0 minus 20 i 0 minus 40 j 0 minus 40 k here it is again uh, we also need to calculate r a o so r a o mod it will be again minus 20 the whole square minus 40 the whole square plus minus 40 k the whole square so if we calculate this and take the square root we will get it as 60 mm as r a o okay now as we know in order to calculate uh, this component on force we first we need to calculate the unit vector a o unit vector a o so for that this is the formula unit vector a o is vector r a o over mod of r a o we know what is vector r a o and we know what is mod of r a o so we can simply uh, divide vector r a o with mod of r a o we will get unit vector a o as 0.3 minus 0.33 i minus 0.66 j and again minus 0.66 k so again uh, as the formula is given f parallel equals to f dot u a u o a so again f dot u uh, a 
AO over here so we can easily say that uh, uh, minus 500k dot of unit vector AO that we have calculated over here is that minus 0.33 IF minus 0.66J minus 0.66K so if you uh, take their dots uh, this first uh, multiplication will get 0 because cos 90 is 0 the second multiplication will get 0 and uh, we multiply minus 500k with minus 0.66k we will get it as uh, f parallel is triple 3 newton 333 3, 3 newton another way to calculate uh, and use this formula it is up upon your choice f cos theta you need to calculate theta for that we can use uh, bas basically formula cos theta equals to vector f dot unit vector ao over mod of f multiply by unit mod of uao okay so you know what is uh, f dot ua vector f dot vector uao is triple three newton so it is this and mod of f and mod of uao okay you know it is uh, going to be what is going to be mod of f is again uh, 500 as it is uh, told you over here and uh, what about uh, the unit vector AO? The mod of UAO is again, if you take the squares of unit vector AO, it will be 1 over here it is. So, theta will be equals to cos inverse of 0.666. So, theta comes out to be equals to 48.241. And you multiply the vector force F with cos theta, it will be 500 into cos of 48.241. So, F parallel again is triple 3 Newton. So, it is up to you. You use this formula this formulation techniques f parallel equals to f dot u or you want to use f parallel equals to f cos theta so once this is being done you can also calculate the perpendicular component uh, on this f of, of this parallel component it will be again this is uh, our original force 500 uh, uh, k on the negative z axis and this is our f parallel okay so and uh, again for this f parallel this will be the perpendicular component okay and remember this is our unit vector ao this is our unit vector ao so if you look at it we can use f square equals to f parallel square plus f perpendicular square so what we get over here is that f uh, perpendicular uh, square will be equals to f square minus f parallel square so what was f square 500 a whole square what was f parallel as uh, it was uh, you calculated as triple three the whole square so if you simplify the and uh, uh, this 500 square minus triple 3 square and take the square root you will get f perpendicular as 373 newton okay thank you very much and have a good day